Our team coverage of the weather alert continues in Bristol, where police dealt with 84 accidents this morning, and state police alone responded to 285 crashes. Now, the issues on the roads came in part after the Department of Transportation did not pre-treat the roads. So what are they doing right now to get everybody ready for Friday? Yeah, a lot of people frustrated about that. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino went looking for answers today. And Mike, the big question, will the DOT be ready? Well, yes, Mark and Aaron, the DOT is confident that they'll be able to pre-treat those roads ahead of Friday's storms, but they're worried about a driver shortage, and it's not just because of COVID, so they'll be relying even more on private contractors to help out. But if this storm lasts for too long, they may not be able to keep up. If you don't need to be out, don't, you know, don't go out, stay home, stay safe. It's advice we hear before every snowstorm. But this time, the DOT has a different concern. Friday's snowstorm may seem run of the mill, but the DOT isn't going into this full strength. The DOT is down more than half its normal 634 drivers, thanks to a shortage of commercially licensed drivers and a rash of COVID cases. The COVID has hit hard. Uh, we're down about 40% just in our highway department. The DOT has 190 vacancies in its highway department, and now 232 drivers have COVID. That means the state will need extra help from its contractors. If this turns into a long duration storm, the DOT may not be able to keep up. That's when we're gonna start running into some major issues, okay? It's not just the state. Towns too are having to scramble to fill out their fleets. Bristol has to replace 22 drivers who are out with COVID. We did a uh, coordinate with other departments, you know, to pulling, you know, drivers. Normally, state officials would encourage commuters to opt for public transportation. But COVID shortages also impact DOT's bus service today. This time I'm saying to everybody, pay attention because we're going to let you know what's going on. Now, if you do have to go out, there are things you can do to help those plow drivers do their job. The DOT says that they saw a lot of people who were passing plow drivers or driving too close to them. They say that it's best if you slow down, give them space, don't pass them. That allows them to do their job and keep everyone safe. Live from Bristol, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Mike, thank you very much. And our team coverage continues right now after the 